Let's do some street address geocoding in Manifold Viewer. Manifold Viewer is the uh, free version of uh, Radiant Studio. You can download it and follow along with this uh, uh, video for free. And uh, even though Manifold Viewer is read-only, it nonetheless retains many of the uh, phenomenal analytic and other capabilities of Radiant Studio, including the ability to use uh, web-based uh, geocoding servers to do street address geocoding. In this demonstration, we're going to use SQL. Uh, and uh, that'll be a break from uh, the point-and-click dialog work we've been doing in other videos that we've seen recently. We're going to begin by importing a, a file that has a list of restaurants in it. It's an ordinary CSV file. Double-click that open, we see we have a table here. This uh, video, by the way, we're going to do everything from the very smallest step on, on uh, upward, so you can uh, literally duplicate it at home starting, starting with zero. Okay, so here's our file of restaurants. Uh, the gray background indicates that it's read-only because it doesn't have an index. We're going to create an index by clicking Edit Schema. And uh, I'm going to create a new field called MFD ID. That's going to be uh, a Float64 field. Let's add that. And now let's uh, create an index based on that field. I'm going to create the index called MFD ID underscore X. By tradition in Manifold work, we uh, append uh, the name underscore x to an index so we know what fields we used. And uh, we're going to create that index on the MFD ID field. So we're going to add that. So now we have <coughs> a new MFD ID field and an MFD ID underscore x B tree index created on that field. Click OK. And as you can see, the table now has white background, which indicates it's fully read write. We can do all sorts of things, wonderful things with the table from here on in. Let's do some geocoding. To do that, we're going to uh, import a text file that has uh, some queries in it. Because uh, why actually write a query by hand when you can just uh, copy and paste something that was already created for you? These are snippets of various uh, SQL and other useful uh, snippets that we uh, copied and pasted from the examples treat address geocoding topic in the uh, Radian user manual, as well as from another topic. This is the query that we're going to use. So I'm going to highlight it, click Copy. And now here, in, I'm going to open a command window for SQL and paste that query text into, into a command window. I'll cl Alt-click on the title of that, title tab, to undock that command window. So we can take a look at that command window <coughs> at the same time. Uh, I'm going to resize it and move it as we look at the uh, restaurants table. So what is this query going to do? Uh, from the restaurants table, which is this thing here that we're using, we are going to select this field, that field, and the address field, and we're going to put it into a new field called geocoded restaurants. In addition, we're going to create a fourth field uh, using two SQL functions, rating SQL functions. The first rating SQL function uh, is a geocode address function that takes the name of a geocoding server. It feeds it an address, and that generates a latitude and longitude. And then this next function here, the geom make point, takes the result of that, the latitude and longitude, and it creates a geom that is a geometry file. Now, this reminds us we better create that Google Geocode server because we're going to use it in this query. So right-click to create a new data source, and uh, the name of that better match what we're using here in the... Uh, Query, Google G underscore G code. Okay. And uh, we're going to use the uh, Google Geocoder. Create data source, great. The way uh, Radian does, Radian technology does geocoding is uh, it uses web based geocoding servers. Uh, why does it do that? Because uh, that's much better than trying to maintain a file of, z file of zillions of addresses from all over the world that's uh, kept up to date on your local computer. Uh, the Google geocoding database is uh, kept up to date, you know, every millisecond or so, I suppose. Uh, so by feeding addresses to the geocoding uh, server that Google maintains and getting the results back, we can get a more accurate and more timely result. Uh, Google, uh, the Google geocoder is free to use if you have a limited number of addresses, so it's fine for personal use in most cases. If you need more addresses, well, then you can buy the uh, geocoding service from Google. That, that they will provide you with an API key that you can then use to uh, authenticate your requests uh, to geocode larger number of addresses from Google. In this case, we're only doing 10 addresses, so there's no problem with using the uh, free geocoding server. Great, so we now have this uh, Google geocode server that's uh, 
created. And uh, let's see what Google makes of the addresses in these uh, rest in the for these restaurants. We're going to click the Run button here to run that query. Uh, Radiant contacts uh, Google, uh, sends it the data, and gets a result. And if we double click open, and as we see, we, we created this geo into the geocoding restaurants table. Let's take a look at what that is. And we can see that it is indeed what we wanted it to be. There's the MFD field, the number field, the address field, and here is the alias as named geom field. That's the ge geometry field that contains a point. Okay, good. Let's uh, dock this command pane so we can do that. Now from here we can create a drawing because now we have a ge geometry at point we can actually show there's a drawing. You can't really plot points if all you have is the address, but if you have the geometry as a, as a point then you can plot those points as a drawing. So let's right click on that geocoded restaurants table and choose new drawing. We're going to use the geom field for geometry. We're going to create a spatial index. The coordinate system here is latitude and longitude. It's not Mercator. So we don't use it use the default. We're actually going to use latitude and longitude. Now we create the drawing. Great. Double click the drawing to open it and what we see are dots that show the locations of those restaurants. Now those aren't very interesting without a background to show us where they are. So let's create a uh, map that has a background for those. A map in uh, Viewer and Radian is a component that has multiple layers. You can drag and drop stuff into it. So let's drag and drop the geocoded restaurants layer into it. And now let's create a background layer. And for that background layer, let's call this uh, Streets, we are going to use an image server. That's the, uh, well, let's use Google again. Let's not use Bing, let's use Google. We're going to use the Google Maps Street Map Server data source. There it is. And we can drag and drop this into the uh, map and let's move the geocoded restaurants layer above that. <coughs> Layers to the left are in uh, are above others. So the uh, putting the geocoded restaurants layer, we put the dots for the restaurants above the Google Street Maps layer. We can't see the dots very well because they're gray, so let's format this to make them stand out better. Click Edit Style. <coughs> and for the fill color, let's use this uh, bright magenta. Let's make the point size bigger, make it 10. And let's change the point icon to uh, a square. Click Apply. And there, now we can see our uh, 10 geocoded restaurants in the, in the map. We can zoom in on this one here in California. And we right click and draw, right click and drag to draw a zoom box and it'll zoom in. It's, it's a restaurant near Pismo Beach, California. As we zoom further and further in, we can see that it is literally the dot that is drawn right on top of that In-N-Out Burger restaurant. To see where that is physically, uh, we can add a data source, which is a satellite layer. This is called a satellite. Okay, good. <coughs> and here, let's uh, Google, sat uh, Google satellite. As you can see, there's zillions of uh, web servers at Radian and Manifold Viewer now. Let's use that. Now let's drag and drop, drop that layer into the map. And that gives us satellite imagery. You can zoom all the way in, and we can see that is indeed the uh, in and out restaurant. Here's the uh, drive through lane. And uh, that's what we've accomplished. So at this point, really, we're, you know, we've, we've done our drawings, and we've uh, created the... Uh, Uh, geocoded a table. However, uh, sometimes people want to uh, have not just a geometry field here to create a drawing, but they actually want to know the latitude and longitude of each of these things. We can extract that easily enough from the geometry field, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to uh, first we're going to add a field called latitude, and we're going to make that uh, float 64, and we're going to add a field called a longitude. And we'll make that also a uh, float 64. And now we're going to do a very cool thing. We're going to uh, use the transform dialog to uh, extract the latitude and longitude values from this geometry. And to do that, we're going to use this thing here. Rather than try to remember the names of all these uh, uh, fields and such, I, uh, I just want to. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste them. <laughs> so instead of having to remember the names of all these functions, I can just uh, use these. So let's copy that. 
Okay, let's go back here to the Geocoder restaurants table and let's click Edit Transform. And the Transform dialog is point and click dialogs. We can do this in SQL, but instead we're just going to do it in the point and click dialog. And for <coughs> whatever target field, for example, the uh, latitude field, uh, it fills this uh, list here with whatever with all the various templates that it can, that can be used to do that. And we're going to copy. And uh, you can see if we copy the address, it just gives what the first number is in there. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put an expression here. We can p choose a field or we can put an expression here. We're going to use this expression here. And uh, what the expression is, it says take the geom field and uh, from that do the geom coordinates x, y, which extracts the x, x and y coordinates from that geom field. And then uh, get the first vector value of that, which is going to be the latitude. So we click update field and uh, that fills that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, longitude field in the likewise way. And we're going to uh, fill that with uh, with that. This is, the longitude comes first, so that's the zero indexing that generates that. A rating, by the way, uh, will preview in blue color what it proposes to do based on what you what you what you've written here. So you can you can check your work before you actually commit it. The preview is extremely useful. So let's click update field, and there. And we've now created a latitude and longitude field that is extracted from this geometry point. So uh, if we were working with Radiant Studio, which is a read write application, we could sort store store this table out to something if we wanted a geocode a table so that we could later use that table in some other software that needed latitude and longitude fields. Since this is a manifold viewer, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use it here. Use it to create the map. But nonetheless, that shows us how. So I'll click this to So you can see the different uh, all the different uh, windows open at once. Uh, so if we wanted to see what the uh, with the addresses in these various uh, restaurants and latitude and longitude coordinates, we can see that as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, there we've done used the uh, free manifold viewer, uh, which is uh, really a database tool, even though we're doing all this GIS stuff with it, uh, to uh, geocode a table, much as we could in Radiant Studio. Try it, try it yourself at home. You can download viewer. It's absolutely free. It's not Nagware. It's not Crippleware. It's not time limit or anything like that. It has a, a huge array of functions, as you can see in the other videos. So I hope you've enjoyed, and thanks for watching, and goodbye from Radiant Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.